Precious people and wonderful people, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that uh, God is keeping you wherever you are, and I say you have a wonderful weekend. My name is Pastor Oshin Amandisha for those who are watching us for the first time. Today I want to uh, quickly share a vision and a dream that I saw last week. I wanted to share it uh, together, the message that I shared uh, with the title uh, Zimbabwe Currents and the God's Economy, but I realized that I'll end up mixing the two uh, because there are related uh, messages, but uh, this one was a vision in a form of a dream that I saw. So I thought that it is very important to just separate it and share with you uh, today, this weekend, so that people will understand something that is very good that is coming on our way and that God has reserved uh, for us. The reason why I always take a little bit of time to come and share such visions is that uh, I, I will take time to pray about it because that I saw a vision um, uh, where I was in the Chinoy area in a river and I was walking along the river bend, then uh, river banks. Then I saw uh, water like boiling and this water that was boiling uh, also caused, uh, there was like fire. So then I said, how can water boil and also have fire in water? Then the mist was coming and this mist was like that mist that we see when someone's pouring like petrol uh, 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 coming up. So I went to investigate. Then a message came, a word came to say these are oil and gas reserves that are in this river that are found in that area. Then I said, how, how can this happen in, in such a river? To my understanding is that uh, maybe uh, some of these things, they have to be found in big uh, areas where maybe the lack of, of water and so forth. In that dream, then I said, let me go and, and, and ask other people to come and witness what I, 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 I saw. So I went to check for other people so that I can show them uh, what was happening. Now, I want you to follow these details because when I saw that vision, uh, I said, God, I cannot go and share this message of, of uh, oil reserves and gas, knowing what happened uh, in the past where we saw some of our elders were deceived and they went and sat down deceived that diesel was coming from a, a, a mountain or some sort of a hill and so forth. So I said, I cannot go and embarrass myself before uh, the people of Zimbabwe and, and then uh, this, I can't, I need to understand, maybe it's just a dream. So uh, what happened when I was battling with that uh, uh, vision, uh, God reminded me uh, long back that uh, one day I uh, stood up in the church and I, I gave a prophecy that uh, God was depositing certain minerals that were not found before in our nation. These are minerals that were going to be discovered later. And I also mentioned some of the minerals. I remember I remember mentioning some of the minerals like diamonds before they were discovered, especially in Chiazwa. Though I did not mention the area per se, but I still remember, and those maybe who were listening, they still recall that I gave prophets about minerals being deposited. So God said, remember that a long back I told you about the minerals that are going to be discovered. And I realized that true God gave me that word. But there's something that also came to me to say, that this type of minerals, especially gas and oil, it is on public domain that, that it is is already discovered elsewhere uh, in our nation then i could not see a reason of coming and share uh, this message maybe is trying to seek relevance but there's a message there that god was trying to uh, uh, put across because when i went to look uh, for a person to come and maybe to witness what i saw i met someone who is going to be the future leader of our nation and I'm not going to mention his name. Uh, he's going to be a leader in our nation. So when I met this man, I said, uh, let me go and share uh, and show you what I saw. So I showed him that this is what I saw and uh, the message saying that oil and gas reserve. So then we were left. So the message that came after that, uh, that has caused me to understand and why I should come and share with you the last part of this man um, who, whom I called uh, to witness th this event 
is the reason why I came and also uh, God reminded me that he, he once told me about such things. Now, it speaks about the future because this man is pointing that he is going to be a leader in the, in the future. So even these discoveries are going to be discovered in the future. They are not going to be discovered now. And the message came to say the reason why these resources are not going to be discovered now is a preservation so that they cannot be abused, so that they cannot be looted, so that they cannot be wasted. So this is why I am I, coming to share with you that uh, this is what God is going to do. This is God's news. And it also confirmed uh, some of the messages that uh, was coming to say Zimbabwe is going to um, uh, to develop with speed and some of these things like minerals that are going to be discovered uh, again these reserves are going to help Zimbabwe to move with speed so I realize that it's very important this message is going to be on YouTube for a long time and uh, I believe that uh, uh, in future we're going to witness when that time comes uh, to happen so I've come just to encourage you that people of Zimbabwe uh, hope is not uh, lost God is preparing for uh, this prosperity of our nation in Zimbabwe so Zimbabwe is going to be a, a great nation because things are going to happen but it is for future this is going to be a major discovery so may God bless our nation in Zimbabwe and I'm excited as I pray that Zimbabwe will rise in Jesus name Amen